All right, you all. We want you to go out and we want you to be active. We want you to try going to different parks and walking the paths or hiking on their hiking trails. But you may think, where can I find out which parks are the best for hiking and walking? Well, there's an app for that. It's called All Trails. And when you download All Trails, you will have to put in an email address and kind of create like a profile. Um, but if you look here, and even put in where I live in the United States because I don't live in Ohio, but it's just says your name and then that's it. This says upgrade to pro. There is a pro feature that you can pay for, but I wouldn't recommend that. I would only download the free um, app and then that should be enough if you are interested in hiking or walking around our area. Um, so what this does is that it will either search or suggest, I'm sorry, it will either suggest some trails that are around your area. And you can look here. I'm just kind of scrolling through them. Um, trails less traveled. That's more so some trails that people don't go on a whole lot if you want a little bit more adventure. Um, and then you can also search a trail. So, for example, today I went to Cherokee Park and I can search Cherokee Park. You can see here, um, the first picture is Cherokee Park. And what's really cool is it rates the difficulty level of the, the trails. So this one was easy and I would agree with that. Um, they had a paved walking path and trail throughout the entire park. So if you have somebody who um, might not be able to go on a dirt path that's uneven and has tree roots and grass and um, different plants and brush in the way you could just use that paved path or if you wanted to um, take somebody who might be in a wheelchair bound or a stroller this is a really good park for that um, when you go into the app it kind of gives you a little summary of the trail and then it will also give you directions so you can just hit that directions button and it will take you straight to the park via gps um, you can record i'll hit that it's not going to show us at cherokee park because i'm at home right now but you can actually see a map of the trail and that red area is the trail that this is actually mapped out and you could record how many miles you went and what your elevation was and how long it took you to do the trail. So that's a very cool option. And then you can even look at the weather and other people's reviews. So other people um, will go on and say if they like the trail, if they don't like the trail, what are some good things and bad things about the trail. And then they even post pictures, which I thought was really cool because there was a lot of this stuff that I didn't get to see today with my, my kids. Um, but looking at it, I want to go back and I want to be able to walk and hike this trail again when I don't have my kids um, and get some get to see some of these cool things like that wooden bridge um, that little stone wall thing. I don't know what it is, but it's very historical. So that's cool. And then, um, it will allow you to kind of have a map of the park. And I found this to be super helpful because my sons and I today parked over here at Willow Park, which is still a part of Cherokee. Um, but it's just like a little playground area. And then we walked all the way up to, if you see where it says um, pavilion right here. And then we walked back down and around and up and around Cherokee, that little loop, and down to the Daniel Boo statue, and then back down to our car. Um, and in that time, I was able to just use this map to navigate. And then I was also able to um, kind of look at the map to see if we wanted to go anywhere else. Um, it shows you where water fountains are too, so that's pretty cool. So this map is very user-friendly. I think that um, if you're going to go to a trail that you've never been to before, this would be a good app to use because 
It will help you navigate yourself through the trail and it will also um, give you how many miles you went, how many minutes or hours if you go that long and it saves it all for you and then you can go back and you can look at it or you can um, use it for all different types of trails. Check it out. It is called All Trails and it has a little green box with a white mountain on it.